Good morning class 4. I welcome you to today's social science class. In today's class, we are going to learn about the five landforms. You need to in our social science book. Can you see the beautiful pictures Ms has given you? There you can find the different land forms. These are the land forms of Tamil Nadu. You can find mountains, kurinji, mullai forest area, agricultural land or fields, marudam, seashore, sea as nadal and desert area pale these are the five land forms of tamil nadu kurinji mullai marudam nadal and pale mother nature that is our earth has blessed us with different forms of lands you can find some areas are very high with tall peaks we call them as mountains another area in which you can find trees in large number we call it as forest some area you can find waves sea beaches another place where we can do agriculture called as agricultural land some other parts it is very dry uh, without any rainfall you cannot do any work on the land it is barren land without water no that is called as desert miss has shown you the pictures of that you can see snow covered mountains densely thick forest beautiful beach and paddy field and desert a barren land my dear children what are the things you see around your house we can see fields where you grow your ragi or millets you can see houses you can see neem trees stones and dry lands around your houses these are the things which we find in and around our houses what are the things we see we can see fields it can be a ragi field or it can be a millet field you can see houses your neighbors houses you can see you can see the trees beautiful trees like neem tree coconut tree etc you can find stones and you can find dry lands where nothing grows around your house in the same way we can see different things on the earth some area will be very hilly with rocks and mountains some area you can see wild animals in trees which are thickly growing some places you can find beautiful fields of paddy of ragi or of millets some places you can find seashells and the beach area some places are useless land which we, uh, we can we can't grow anything on that our nature is also so diverse in its produce all these things are called as landforms so there are different landforms on the earth dear children before we go into the details of the lesson let me try out some questions 
Let me see whether you will be able to answer them correctly or not. Where would you see more hills on the earth? Yes, the answer is correct. It is the mountains. Where would you see wild animals with more trees? Yes, absolutely. It is the forest. Where does the paddy grow? Very correct. It is the agricultural land. Where would you see the seashore? It is near the sea or the beach. Correct. What is the name of useless lands? It is a fallow land. Fallow land. The places we see on the surface of earth is called landforms. The things that you see on the top side of the earth, on the surface, on the top of the earth is called as the landforms. Children, according to the fertility of the land, what the land could produce, how much it could produce and the activities of the people, what activities the people carried out during that time. According to this too, the land is divided into different types in ancient Tamil Nadu depending on the fertility of the land. Fertility means what the land can produce, what crops it can grow and also on the activity of the people what kind of work the people did in an area depending on that land was divided into different types in the ancient Tamil Nadu dear children so land according to the, its physical feature how it appeared were divided into the following types mountain forest plain seashore and dry land i repeat mountain forest plain seashore and dry land dear children have you heard of solar family yes the solar system what is the center of the solar system Yes, baby, that is correct. That is the sun. You know how many planets are there in solar system? Yes, pa, that is absolutely right. There are eight planets in the solar system. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Our Earth is a third planet. And it is the only planet which has the conditions for life to survive. Our earth has got atmosphere which has oxygen and the temperature of the earth is correct for the survival of animals, trees and human beings. Earth has got all the conditions for the survival of a life survival of a human being or a tree so earth is called as biosphere earth is called as biosphere because earth has got the climate conditions oxygen correct temperature for the living things to survive so it is called as a so it is called as biosphere now let us read the book in the solar family, Earth is a third planet. It has oxygen and temperature to live. Therefore, we call the Earth as biosphere. How do we call Earth? We call Earth as biosphere. Why do we call Earth as biosphere? Because 
earth has oxygen and temperature to live the earth or the life sphere or biosphere is surrounded by the five elements of nature called land water air fire and sky so dear children what are the five elements land water air fire and sky our earth is surrounded by the five elements of nature which are they land water air fire and sky now we will see the land forms of tamil nadu we'll read from the book the five types of land forms in sangam age were divided on the basis of the work done by the people the sangam age is a very old period in history where the poetics flourished under the patronage of the chera chola pandya kings out of five tinais only four types were permanent that means only four were permanently available they were kurinji mullai marudam neidal the fifth land palai was formed when kurinji and mullai dried up you know children the mountainous area and the forest area when they dried up when they became barren then that area were called as the palai area or dry land area now we will see about the mountains or the kurinji land a mountain is a large geographical area that rises above the surrounding land with peaks the mountain and its surrounding are known as the kurinji land you know children a mountain is an elevated place than a normal place there will be peaks there will be height what were called as kurinji land the mountain and its surroundings are known as kurinji land what is a mountain children a mountain is a large geographical area that rises above the surrounding land with peaks that means it will be above rising above the surrounding lands and it will be having peaks peaks are like cone shaped heights in this picture you can see the lord murugan then kuravar gathering honey the bamboo monkey and peacock all these things are related to the people of the kurinji region you know the theme or the main things of the people of that region which dealt with their god the occupation the plant the flowers the animal bird and the musical instrument now we will see the theme or the main things of kurinji land it deals with the god the people occupation plant flower animal bird and the musical instrument used in that period you know god of the kurinji region was lord murugan you know murugan the god who travels on a peacock yes that was the god of the kurinji region the people were kuravar and kurattiyar the occupation how they spend their time by hunting animals gathering roots and honey they used to collect honey from the honeycomb on the trees the plant were bamboo and the flowers were vengai and kurinji flower the animals were monkey deer and the birds were a beautiful peacock a national bird 
and the talking bird parrot. The instrument they used for playing music was the kurinyi yal. On the picture we are having a kurinji flower. It is a miraculous flower which will bloom once in 12 years. The flower grows well in the western guts in the mountainous area it will grow. It flowers in the month of July to September. This flower has got medicinal value. It is a beautiful flower and it is used for medicine and it appears in the hills of the western guards and it appears as if a violet colored blanket has completely covered the mountains. The Kurinji flower is used in Ayurveda for the treatment of uh, swellings, oedema and for neurological disorders. Now we will see the people of Kurinji region and their occupation. You can find Porupan who is a soldier who used to fight in the war against enemies. Veerpan who is a leader of the tribe. He is having weapons and he will fight with the weapons. The Silamben, he is a master of martial arts. Martial arts means the art of fighting. You would have heard of karate, kung fu, taekwondo. Then Kuravar, he is a hunter and the gatherer. He used to go for hunting of animals and prey. And he used to go gather honey from the honeycomb. And he used to go and bring roots and fruits. Then you have the Kanavar, the people of the mountainous forest. The people who lived in the mountains, the forest area of the mountains. Next we will see the soil of the Kurinji land. People you would have seen red soil and black soil. Yes, those were the soil of the Kurinji land. And it had stones and pebbles in them. It had small small stones and pebbles in the soil. There were some important hills of Tamil Nadu. There were some important hills of Tamil Nadu like the Jinji Hills, Kolli Hills, Shervarayan Hills, Kalrayan Hills, Nilagiri Hills, Javad Hills and Pache Malay Hills. The Nilagiri Hills get its name from a Kurinji flower. With this we come to the end of today's session. I hope you all enjoyed today's class. Stay happy, stay healthy. See you soon in the next class. Thank you.